The reason they are so divided is because they don't have the Holy Spirit. There's no Holy Spirit in these places. How can there be Holy Spirit when people are behaving like gods? And people are believing everything they hear because they have been hypnotized. We'll come to that. Had these churches, denominations, ministries had the Holy Spirit, they would all be in agreement. They will have no problem what is coming out from here today because it's God's word. There wouldn't be the division of laity and clergy. There will be no master and servant relationship. There will be, no, be equality. There will be no discrimination based on skin tone or tribe or tongue. From the time of the great apostasy to now, God has continued to raise prophets. Yes. And other ministers whose mandate is to plead with apostate church groups to go back to the church of Christ. Stop dishonoring God. Whenever successful churches from the time of that great apostasy to now listen to God's ministers, there was a revival. When they listened, there have been revivals, a lot of people read our revivals in 18th century, 17th, 19th, yes, even 20th century, yes. But has there been any in the last hundred years? No. Because apostasy has been at its zenith in the last hundred years. It is not accidental, there's no revival. So those who are clamoring for revival, pay attention. Only few people in the world today know the Lord. And even fewer are, are sounding the alarm. Today, the Church of Christ, which is the kingdom of God on earth, is not battling the world. Our battle is not with the world. We are battling spiritual forces that have entrenched themselves in apostate church denominations, in buildings called churches, in ministries and church groups. They have taken over evil spiritual forces. You can say you had it from here, but it's God's word. These apostate groups are standing in the way and preventing the world from seeing the love of God, which is Christ, and to hear his good news that all humanity has been saved, if only they can believe. The few voices sounding are the alarm. Those voices are being drowned by the very loud unbiblical tunes coming out of pulpits of apostate church groups. Now to the topic, in a sense, because we have laid the groundwork. What's the solution? Number three, believers have authority over spiritual rulers in their countries. That's what I want everybody listening to take a, pay attention. Stop complaining. Stop crying if you're a child of God. You have authority in your country. But you have to do a few things, as we'll see. Satan has counted on the fact that faithful followers of Christ in a country will never get together. They will never get together because they're scattered. Some faithful followers of Christ, that's those who have known of the great apostasy, continue to attend services in the apostate church groups because of the wrong understanding of this scripture Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 not to neglect the assembly of the saints as a man of some did, he, did the scripture say you should assemble with unbelievers he said you should assemble with demons in human forms in those church groups no he says if you find somebody like yourself if you have believed truly and the Holy Spirit is in you, I find another brother or sister, then don't forget that nobody has. So some continue going to apostate church groups and sadly some will lose their salvation. But others who understand that they cannot be blameless if they continue attending meetings, services held by apostate church groups. They have left totally. They don't want to be party to it. They prefer to listen to online broadcasts like this one and ought to worship God in their homes. We are going to address, pay attention, how faithful believers can meet and take charge of their countries. Because if believers in a particular country are responsible for their country, 
You are not going to respond for believers in other countries. You will intercede for your own country. But you have to be a faithful follower of Christ. So let me say the following before I give you a narration. There is no Christian country in the world. There is none. Every country has tribes, no matter how homogeneous they may appear. Every country has an evil spiritual ruler. There are the real forces behind countries, human rulers. Large secular organizations, and many of these influencers, many people run after us, which are the young ones. There are spirits behind them. Some people who created things were actually inspired by evil spirits. Some things most of us use. We are going to take a hypothetical country. Please pay attention if you're a child of God. This country is called Ginger. Ginger. Ginger is the name of the country. But it is just a hypothetical country. All the countries of the world are being asked to take note of what I'm saying now. So we're going to take this hypothetical country called Ginger to show faithful followers of Christ in every country of the world how to stop evil powers from operating in their countries. Yes. Now, so Ginger is a country that has a population of 10 million people and 10 tribes. 40% of the people in Ginger identify as Muslims. 45% of people in Ginger identify as Christians. 15% identify as others. Of the 45% who claim to be Christians, actually only 1% are faithful followers of Christ. That means about 100,000 persons are faithful followers of Christ in the country of Ginger. Praise the Lord. Ginger is a very corrupt and wicked country. It got its independence from an European colonist many years ago. Though the country is blessed with mineral resources, for which it has collected trillions of billions of trillions of dollars over the years, it is still one of the poorest countries in the world. Life in Ginger can be said to be brutish, meaning harsh. Terrible. Most of the leaders of each of the ten tribes in Ginger are stupendously rich. They didn't become rich because they were hard working. Eh? Far from it. Most didn't even go to school. They became rich by stealing public funds. The more they stole, the more they were adored by their tribesmen and women. Many of them spent millions of dollars in their quest to become president of Ginger or governor of one of the states of Ginger, local government chairman of one of the local governments in Ginger. Those who succeeded in becoming president or minister or governor have seen a million percent return on their investment. Of course, stolen funds. They prefer to stash their stolen funds in other countries, rather than invest in ginger. As a result, ginger's economy has collapsed. And more than 90% of their youth have no skills and no jobs. To compound the problem, each tribe sees its leaders, that's the leader from their tribe, as saints, but sees leaders from other tribes as the evil ones. People of each tribe are ready to kill anyone who says that their leaders are corrupt. They will defend their own leaders, despite the fact that public records show that they are very corrupt. Like every country in the world, Ginger has evil spiritual rulers at every level of government. These evil spiritual rulers are not just operating at the federal level of Ginger, they are operating in the tribes in the states, in the local governments, in the communities, and even in families. 
they have hypnotized the people of Ginger, made them to hate each other, blinded them such that they can no longer see truth, made the people of Ginger an abomination. Because tribalism is the motto of Ginger. You will say, what of apostate churches? What happened? Oh, that was, that hopeless. Their leaders, the leaders of apostate churches in Ginger, are as corrupt, if not more corrupt, than the political elite of Ginger. In fact, they and the political elite have a symbiotic relationship. Just like the larger Ginger country, tribalism is rooted, if not more, in these apostate church groups. Evil spiritual rulers are also behind these apostate church groups in Ginger, as we have said. It's important, so you know how to pray and when to pray. Ginger's case is hopeless. When viewed from human eyes, but remember with God, nothing is impossible. So I'm going to address the 100,000 faithful followers of Christ in the country of Ginger. Because only you can save the country of Ginger. Only you. If Ginger falls, you are responsible. Because you are the nation of God. You are the only ones God is looking up to, not anybody else. So if Ginger falls, you are responsible. So to Ginger and countries like Ginger, who want to save their countries, here goes. There are 100,000 of you, though you don't know each other. But Ginger belongs to you, not to those evil rulers of darkness, and not even to those politicians and those apostate church leaders. It belongs to you because you're the nation of God in Ginger. The light from the candle of God in Ginger will remain or be quenched depending on what you do. You are the church of God in Ginger. You are the kingdom of God in Ginger. You must tell that to yourself every morning, every evening. But there's something that's not right with most of you in Ginger who are faithful followers of Christ. Though you are faithful, many of you have imbibed the tribalism of your tribes. You see things stay through the prism of your tribes. So that's why your prayer is not being heard. You still see persons from your tribe who are not faithful followers of Christ as more of your brothers and sisters than faithful followers of Christ from another tribe. How can you pray and God will hear you when you are discriminating? How do you expect God to hear your prayers when you are not one with your brother or sister in Christ? You are not in unity with your brother in Christ because sister in Christ because he or she is from another tribe. Let me say this one is my own thought. I am persuaded, and I pray the Lord will honor it. If 10 faithful followers in Ginger, 10, one from each tribe of Ginger can come together, lay bare the problems and wicked acts of past Gingerites against each other, and confess their sins like Daniel did, our God will hear and deliver Ginger from an imminent catastrophe. Pass this message around to those in Ginger and countries like Ginger. If you can but come together, 10 from each tribe, one from each tribe, you as the church of God in Ginger will put evil rulers of flight and the land of Ginger will be delivered. Then the question I hear you asking me is this, how will the 10 believers from 10 different tribes of Ginger get together since they may not know each other? The answer is coming. We are the worldwide evangelical ministry. We have a mandate to reach the world with the gospel of Christ. That's why we don't speak to only one nation of the world. But we are ready to coordinate meetings of faithful followers of any country that has similar problems like Ginger. Meaning, if you are from a country and you are touched by this message. Get in touch with us. It's tell us you are from so-so from so tribe in so country. And that person will call all right. And, but it, maybe if it's God's will and because people are praying, we may find 10 from the country of Ginger or a Ginger-like country. And then we link all of them together. 
and you start meeting each other through WhatsApp, through Zoom calls, whatever, we are willing to assist and help in their coordination. At no charge anybody. Freely we have been giving these messages, freely we give to you to the world. But Ginger, take notes if you do not. Bring 10 people from your tribes. I don't care how many tribes you are in Jinja, but let's say it's 10. 10 people that are from different tribes, not all from your family or the, nobody's interested. And share the problems of Jinja to God and cry to Jinja and intercede for the land. When you do, evil spiritual that in Jinja will be put to flight. And those who have been their servants will lose their positions. And God will raise his servants to rule Jinja. It's in your hands. I've done my message. I've done the bidding. You do your bidding. But so long as you're steeped in tribalism in ginger, you will not be rescued. Whoever wants a change in their country and you're faithful full of Christ, get in touch with us. Let us rub minds together and put you people from that country together. But to ginger, this is the last